Goat herds are at work in downtown Seattle, clearing overgrown brush one mouthful at a time. They do it every year. But as environmental specialist Gary Chittam reports, people just can't seem to curb their enthusiasm when it comes to meeting goats on the street. It's a brilliant idea. Though. Something is going on outside Farhan Saeed's office window. It's like, what? This just doesn't add up. Saeed and his workers have so a front row I'm seat to goats at work. If I get bored, I just go and stand and just f try to follow one goat and see what it does. They are doing a very dirty job, clearing overgrown areas of the city where weeds and drug deals flourish. These goats are contractors working for the Seattle Department of Transportation on a hillside nobody wants to clear. It is steep, and it would be a problem to get me or any worker to go down there and clear that brush, but this one, this one will do it. You could not put people on here or machinery on here safely. And goats have four, full time four wheel drive, so they can go where people and machines cannot go safely. And they are incredibly fun to watch. You see, there are two white goats. Yeah. And there are two brown goats. And Saeed and his team are captivated with the mixture of curiosity and envy. They don't wear for, oh my God, I cannot eat now. I, I won't be able to eat my dinner. There's nothing. They just go and be like, hey, let me just eat this flower and see how it feels. Just doing what comes naturally. And just by oh, being no, goats, they're being green. Replacing power tools and chemicals to get rid of a natural problem in their own special way. And we would be men who stare at goats. A hypnotic, addictive animal attraction right outside a fourth floor office. They're just sitting out there doing nothing. Two crews divided by an office window, sharing a little downtime in the middle of a busy work day. They don't care where the next meal comes from. They're just going to eat whatever they can find. And down by the viaduct, they can find plenty. In Seattle, Gary Chittum, King 5 News.